Hello friends, so today we'll be looking at the lazy initialization design pattern. So this pattern is quite useful for uh, performance optimization in your program. <clears throat> so let's say uh, uh, we are making some fruit objects. So as we discussed in the last time's multi-ton design pattern, uh, where we used a fruit factory to get the instances of some fruits. So let's say we are running an application on our computer which is using this fruit factory class. <clears throat> so basically whenever the user asks for a fruit like this fruit factory dot get instance fruit constant dot mango then we create a new fruit with the name as mango and then we return it to the user okay so basically uh, we are not writing this fruit factory like this fruit factory let's say class fruit factory and we are not creating this uh, fruits in the fruit factory constructor or maybe first time this fruit factory is called like when the class is loaded we don't create these fruits when the class is loaded or uh, when this fruit factory is constructor if it is there then it is called so we defer this fruit creation till the time when this fruit is actually required by our program so this is a performance benefit that we don't actually waste our time creating those fruits which are never required in our program's lifetime. So let's say our program just requires apple and grapes. Then we won't create banana and mango. So this will save some resources of our computer and uh, this is a good performance benefit another thing we are not doing like this the other way will be to create all the fruits in the beginning when your program is initially running that is the your application is initially loaded you create all the fruits one by one so that way if you do that way your application will take a lot of time to load in the beginning so this is called lazy initialization you defer the initialization of objects till the first time they are actually needed. Hope you understood. Thank you friends.